you know, there's another quick and easy way for getting a repo that has been made for Xcode onto your laptop. You don't have to start with Xcode first if you don't want to, although that's kind of my preferred recommendation, which I have a video on. But I thought I'd show you the reverse, which is if you're in your GitHub repo, how do you take a repo that you see and bring it down and put it into Xcode? So let's do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log in uh, as uh, Stephen Hawking again, who is the instructor, but he also has uh, a lab that we put up there a while back that we can then clone and bring it down. So I'm gonna go there to um, the organization uh, and I'm gonna click on lab one, which was the repo. So it doesn't matter whether it's in your normal account, in an organization or whatever, as long as you have authorized Xcode uh, for your account on GitHub and you are in GitHub and you have access to the repo, you'll be able to do this. So here I am at lab one, and I go over here to click on code, and I have a couple different choices, like this one, this link would be used to clone manually something down to your computer. But notice right here, it says open with Xcode, and that's because it knows it's an Xcode project. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on that, and it's going to ask me, is it okay to open Xcode? I'm gonna say allow. And at this point, Xcode launches, and it verified that it had access to the repo, and now it's creating a new project with that name. Basically, it's cloning it down to this documents directory is just fine. So we'll let it clone. And we now have the project brought up and we're ready to go. And interestingly, if I look over here on branches uh, for lab one, I can see that I am on the main branch. And if I look at my remotes, it's already tied to that repository as well. So that means I can commit and push changes back and uh, we're ready to work on this project. So that's another easy way to get your project onto your computer from GitHub.